All new tonight at 6 as we keep hearing about car thefts in our state. A bill to increase penalties for the thieves may not get a vote this year. It would have required electronic monitoring bracelets for teens who get caught. So with support from police and victims, why is it not moving forward? Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live at the state capitol to get you answers. And Susan, what happened here? Well, here's what happened. Basically, earlier this month, the Judiciary Committee took up some of the proposals in this bill. It barely passed that committee, and today it went before the Appropriations Committee, and late this afternoon, it was scrapped. Now, people are witnessing many more car break-ins in our state these days, some of them violent, and people are telling us they want to see something done. I came back out, and I had to take a few seconds to realize that I was not seeing my car. Tiffany Hall Scarmana was visiting a friend in Avon and parked her car in the driveway. She wasn't worried about leaving her keys or purse in the car. So we immediately pulled up surveillance and called the cops right away. The video shows a red car pull up and someone getting out. Two hours later, thieves used her credit card at a New Haven restaurant. Cameras at the restaurant showed her white Lexus parked outside. Her ID and credit cards were found at different locations. Mostly juveniles, you know, under 18 years old, stealing the cars. They tell us nothing's going to happen to them. They know that. Walcott's police chief says punishment for juveniles is a slap on the wrist. And what happened in his town a week ago shows how bad things can get. Where, where, where are my baby? This was a mother's frantic call to 911 after her car was stolen outside a convenience store with her two children inside. Three people in this blue car pull up alongside the mother's car. Then someone gets into her car and takes off. Her 11-year-old son got out when the car hit another car before speeding off. The kids and the car were soon found, but not the suspects, who police believe were juveniles. It's about the proper punishment for crimes like this, because without proper punishment, it is going to continue the cycle and more uh, cars and, and people's property will be stolen. So it's like, what are we doing about it in the state of Connecticut to stop that? There were several proposals in this legislation. One, obviously, was those electronic monitoring bracelets. Also, tougher penalties for adults who entice juveniles to commit these crimes. And the other, perhaps, and more importantly, is that when these crimes involve guns or violence, there would be more serious penalties. But at this point, it does not look like the General Assembly will be voting on it. We are live at the State Capitol in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.